listen to that on the way to the gym. Sadly, my gym is like 20 minutes from my house, so I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to that while See, I'm on the way there. It's amazing. And what I was doing was like, you know, when you listen to a song, for example, and you like it a lot, and it's like your favorite song or like favorite songs, mm-hmm. and you listen to it over and over again, you just you just um, have the r- lyrics in br- um, like imprinted in your brain. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's so like in every yeah. part of the song, you know how exactly they're gonna say the lyrics, when exactly they're gonna say them, in what kind of way they're gonna say them, right? Yeah. And if you watch this this video, for example, as well, or like any kind of video, over and over again, the same thing happens, right? And this is and this information slash knowledge just stays in your head, right? And yeah. You, it's like you won't have to be reminding yourself that that thing. So that's what I was doing exactly with this video. Like okay. I was, I, even when, when I was in game, I was playing Coffstream back then. Even when I was in game, I just had this in the background, just listening to it, right? Yeah. And this helped me a punch, like a punch. That's awesome, man. I'll give that a look. Also, so with this mat, like with um, with playing against Trinomir top lane. So like that's always like that's always been a frustrating matchup for me because it feels like he just he just hits six and then it's just kind of like zero consequences. So what are you looking to do in this matchup? Well, you obviously have to go for some trades uh, with this guy. Be, be careful with space because usually what they're looking to do is, uh, for example, they try to walk up to you out and then immediately away, right? So you can't really trade it back. Yeah. So that's one thing you need to be careful about. Second thing is when you walk up for CS, they will be looking to E on top of you. So they will go for the last hit, for example, on the minion and immediately E on top of you when they will have fewer yeah. usually, right? So usually I look to deny that, especially with Yone, for example, I can use my E immediately, get out of his E, right? And immediately go back and trade. And if he stays, he's in thing, right? I'll be able to get out very quick and I, and I trade it with, uh, with him. And uh, if I will be playing Gasso, I'll just look to have some minions around me, for example. So immediately once I see that he's dashing towards me, I can dash to the side, right? Or backwards mm-hmm. and, and dodge the dash. Obviously, he's going to be looking to outstand me with his, uh, with his Dawn Shield, uh, Second Wind and his Q. Right. Yeah. And just some short bulk trades and sometimes some extended trades. Level one, he might be looking to you know go in. But for now, I will stop because it's my first game. I would like to focus on as much as possible, so I can give yeah, you go as for it. good as a, of a game as possible for later on. Yeah, go for it. That was a bit too much to write. Level two. So we'll be back in a few seconds. Shocker started bossing as well, so I'm be careful for that. He's going KD, and they can burst me fairly quick. He's gonna be looking to just proxy. Yeah, I know I'm a little shit. So the thing which I was talking about, auto in here, away. Mm-hmm. Actually, I just need to thin out, otherwise if this crashes, he can be looking for the bounce back on him. Yeah. So I'm guessing you'll just give lane priority for most of this and then just have your jungler come up at some point? Um, it's just going to be more beneficial for me as well to just keep the wave close to my side. Because he doesn't really have that much room to trade afterwards, right? He look, he's looking uh, for yeah. any trades and he can just uh, go up on me. And when he will be trying to go for the last hit, like, I can just poke him down all the time. And once he makes a mistake because of the pressure, see? Something like that. Short trades. There you go. He's okay. looking for the E right now, that's why he was walking up like that. See? And now E's on cooldown. If he walks up, we can go for it. W out with Q. Shield is down. And immediately a quick, uh, quick clean trade. Nice, man. That was smooth. Right, just like that. And then right, unfortunately, he is out killing me because of his Q, like we said. But eventually, those short burst trades and Q poke like that, see, with a W, just gets him uh, down. Yeah. And eventually, he'll make a mistake. I can go for a quick trade. See, I will go a mistake. And now, go for, a, for an extended trade. Ah, I didn't ignite. It was so late. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, he's and dead too. It, and that's how it works. Nice, man. That was good. That was really good. Your CSing is also super good. That's uh, that's a, definitely something I need to work on. So for here, you're just going to fast push to crash, right? Because he has oh, that of teleport. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Because if I stay yeah. here, I'm just like sleeping. Right. And now 1.2k gold. I'll buy my Bazooka Groups and get, and get a quick control so I can place down down here. Hello, Brutaland. Welcome to the show. 
So what's going to be some good control ward positions for top lane? So control wards because they are not invisible, obviously, right? Yeah. You w depends on the, what in what state of the game is uh, you are and what point of the game. You want to place them in your area. So if you are winning, you'll be able to control their jungle, for example, and you can place a deep ward. But right now, for example, if I go if I go and place a ward right here, right, it will, it will not be beneficial for me that much. So I'll place it here because this is my area, right? I have control of this. Yeah. For the most part. Does it make sense? But if I get yeah. very dominant and I dominate top lane and I get control over here over this area, I can I can look to place a deeper ward. Because okay. I can I can go there, right? Yeah. I'm looking to just bait out his his ear while we thin out the wave as much as possible. See now full crit. I mean full passive. I'm gonna go for something like that. You see there the go is W. He's on cooldown, yeah. so we can be looking to walk up, space properly. Like he'll be back in the way, go for this. I just kiting and he didn't even pull out the out over there. Right now because he will be big oh yeah, level six. He might be looking for the for the dive, so I need to have my E. Just in case he tries to go for the dive, right? I will be able to kite him with my E and his ultimate will be wasted. So I need to yeah, preserve my yeah. HP here and not do anything troll. He might be looking for the auto E here. See and there it goes. Yeah, he's trying yeah, okay. See? Boom. <laughs> nice, dude. Shit, that was smart. So it's just easy stuff. Right now, he can stay at lane. I should be expecting Shaco to be here anytime soon. This is warded because the minions followed me in the bush. Yeah. I'll be looking to create some pressure. Now, if he stays, that's good for me. Shaco is on both lane, so there is no pressure for about that. And right now, he's diveable. I won't have to use my ultimate as well here. For the kill necessary, right? It won't be necessary 100%. And when he walks up, oh, Zed is here. And go like that quickly. Oh wow, that was hit, really but good. It doesn't matter a lot. I so just pull him away with, with my E, and it's easy. Right now, I'll fake that I'm recalling, and this guy might stay. I will stack up my Q3 from here and go and get the kill. Yep, there he is. He's walking up. Nice. He might spot me because of his uh, W. Right. This is a kill. I should have used my E, that was very good by my side. But you get the idea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that makes sense. And unfortunately, I played this way too greedy. It was obviously a kill. Once I saw him out attacking me, I should have used my E to kite him. Yeah. And make sure that I won't die. So this was 100% my bad that I died. What do you think about the Ink Shadow Yona skin? Deserve buying? I, I don't really care about skins. It's whatever. If you like it, buy it. If you don't, then don't buy it. Why would my opinion matter? <laughs> uh, Ascension, thank you so much for the follow as well. For some reason, the um, alerts are not really working. What does one do with I need to turn chat off as well. Why do I have it on? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I always I only hear leave that thing tick, off. Tick, 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 and it's just annoying. He'll be going for the last hit here. Oh, just with auto E. Yeah, because his ult's still down, right? Uh, ult range right now is up. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's another thing I have trouble with is timings. Oh, the John is here. Motherfucker. So I need to be a tiny bit more careful right now because Shaka's missing as well if Janna comes here. She could be in the bush, but yeah. it's kind of scary. But why did Shaka go for first strike when he's going KP? That's weird. Right now I need to be very careful because my team has control of the bot side, um, of the um, uh, bottom side of the map, right? He's looking to make... Yeah. Is he looking to make crush? Okay, Janna left, but Chaco will still be here. I have no vision in the bush over here, so it's risky for me. I have to stay as much to the left as possible. Yeah, Jan is dragged, by the way. Shaco, yeah, yeah, I saw it. I'm just uh, looking out for Shaco in case he, go he was going to appear. Okay. And I think Shaco has to be here, or this guy is just simply zoning me away like that. I can look to bait out his E potentially. But they could be looking for the kill uh, with Shaco. This is a very bad spot for me, unfortunately. Quite some pressure. I can go inside the bushes like that, but he will know about me if he pays attention to his W. Yeah, there is Shaco, see? Oh, shoot. I'm in a very, very awkward spot right now. I can see somewhat of a Diver, but... Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a uh, very, very awkward spot for you to be as a top laner. You have to be very careful because if you die, then you will lose so much, so much.
Yeah. So, so yeah, at this point, it's like the lane's kind of frozen. Shaco's pressuring you, so then yeah. you have to wait for like your jungler to come, basically. Yeah, right, right? now I, I pinged him and he paid attention, so he's coming. I can start being a tiny bit aggressive. Like a W is down, Shaco might be here. It seems like he maybe decided to not go in. Okay, let's find Shaco's on both sides. With, with Z, I can Q. W for the tower shoot. He pulled out the auto on me. Oh, he got the flash. I killed him. Slight unfortunate. I'll still be able to get kill under the tower though. Yeah, you don't live like that, my friend. And then with nice. uh, my E and Q3, I just know that he's gonna be looking for the E, right? And when I go after him like this, he has very little time to react on my Q because I'm right next to him, right? So yeah. he can't really see the animation coming out. It's, it's very, very difficult. And now you just get plates here and further your I will leave. get the third plate as well because Shaco is on both sides. The Z was on both sides as well. While Tuna has another 5 seconds plus another like 20 for him to come uh -huh. back to lane. Otherwise, it's 25 for most top laners, but, he, but because he has Z, he can save some time like this, right? So that's yeah. good, guys. Now so you said it's 25 seconds for most top laners to get back into lane? Yeah, yeah, it's about 25 for going to, uh, on top and bot lane, because obviously okay. they have the same length, right? Yeah, yeah. So get this, I'll get one potion as well. I'll get this as well for deep vision. So now preferably for blue chewing it in case you don't know how exactly to use it. I just like to place it right here on the edge so I can see up to this point, right? Can see the, the circle? Yeah. yeah. Right, so it covers the majority of uh, its of the space. So at least I can secure this area over here, which most likely Shaku will come through. So do you always buy blue trinket then? Uh, at level nine, yeah, for deep vision. So I don't have to walk somewhere where it will usually be risky, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But because it gives you the extra the extra range and you don't have to, you don't have to walk up to a specific place to place the ward over there. Yeah. Vision. Right now I'll play on, so, the, on this side of um, the tower, or like the lane. Because the tower is... Has... A second, okay, he used the... Just some code. Because the tower range is like that, right? If I go yeah. here, he can be closer to me and avoid the tower range. Does it make sense? Well, here, I if he tries so, to yeah. come, he's going to, he, he will get immediately into tower range, or usually okay. he will get into tower range. Shaka's mid lane, so no worries about the ganks. I'm trying to think about like what would have happened to me in this matchup. I probably would have played like Cho'Gath or Sejuani just due to like the squishy team composition, and then I feel like I just would have gotten fucked by this guy. It's all about fundamentals, my friend. Just, just yeah. think about what, he, what his goals are. See, W, w right when the tower shot will be coming towards me. That's why I went for the Q first. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. that's crazy. Otherwise, if I go Holy W shit. immediately, then I, I won't have enough duration of the shield when the tower shot will, will be coming towards me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Nice bottom is giga winning. I'll just pull the website, push it towards me. Shaco is dead and says he's missing, so I need to be careful about, about him. Now the super pushing, I don't really have to walk up, right? Okay, he's in a yeah. cooldown. He can go for a quick fight. This way, so I can keep my distance as much as possible. She just pulls one W, which I don't care about. Right? And just all about thinking what exactly they're looking for. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's always about that. Like, even if you haven't played a, a matchup in your life, right? Like a specific one. If you know what the enemy champion is looking for and what your champion is looking for as well, or the goals of your champion, you'll still be fine. Yeah. So, Trinomir, like, in your mind, like, what is he looking for right now? Is well, he just guy, looking to kill you? The guy you is just looking to, to play around his strengths, which is the sustain, right, from Q, the shield, yeah. and the second wind. He's looking yeah. for extended traits with his fury. So, is, so if his fury. Is it's high, then you know that he will most likely be looking to go for the trades. And just kiting him as well, he's a fairly simple champion, right? So yeah. if you bait out his, his E, then you can kite him very easily. Have you noticed, like, whenever I will go for a fight with him, I will keep my distance and I will also be looking to cut with my... He knew about it with his W. And he'll yeah. be looking to just go for an extended fight and go for like something short burst. 
right? And we'll pick Eichmann like that. He'll be going for Scuttle now, which I can't really do much about. Actually, maybe I can. To some extent, I can. It's it's gonna be maybe risky. Now, there is only the hunter. Bitch. <laughs> Nice, nice. <laughs> like, I, I just know the worst with with my champion, so I know. How yeah, much yeah, yeah. And then we just with the, with the first Q, I see how much damage my Q does, right? So I can approximately cal calculate how much I can I can burst him at once. Yeah, like he's good in his Q, his ultimate. The, the guy is too. wow. It, it happens very frequently with junior uh, junior players. They do not really think about that about the E. Stacked up damage and you just kill them like that sometimes. That's crazy. Because, because they're greedy, like they're they're uga, uga booga sometimes. <laughs> Except if you're not if you're not playing against somebody like uh, how is it called? Um, uh, uh, Ranger, I think he, he, he was his name. The you know main. Uh, uh, yeah, people that just like one trick him. Yeah, the guy the guy is challenging with a champion, so. Oh. Hello, Donkey. Bless him. Alright, so Shaka is only here. He's recalling. I want to be looking for the tower so I can get some tempo around the map. Yeah. Shaka just recalled him. Zed is on both sides. My teammates are doing their thing. And right now, if you, fo if, you, if you take a look, right, or if you have noticed, I'm just focusing on my lane, right? Because this is what I can control. And I just pay attention to what my teammates are doing because it might influence what my next move will be. And obviously, yeah. take a look at the enemy team as well because this will influence my decisions and my moves too. Right, so it's everything about what can I control and what can I influence. Yeah, because like, like take this three. game. Oh, sorry. You'll be looking to you know, go for an extended trade. Should be fine for the most part. You'll be looking for the flash. Yeah, I can't fuck up here. Was a bit greedy. I think that's going to be able to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> After this point, to be completely honest with you, I should have very cool. I had to point 4k gold. <laughs> that, that's uh, that's the side. I and I also overextended a tiny bit there with uh, with a trade. Once he had the gun on me immediately like that, I should have trade. I should have kited him a tiny bit, right? With, once I got my Q3 stacked up, kite back so I can um, delay his damage to some extent. And also just noticing that he has Gale Force, because then he has two dashes, right? In Gale Force. Yeah. So that's to some extent my bad again. So two deaths will have been avoided 100%. How naive. I just that's the important part, though, like you realize your mistake. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Like there as well, I knew he had flash, right? I even told you before he flashed. So if I ulted, um, you know, like prepared my ultimate while he was coming towards me after the knockup, I was gonna be able to m maybe, like, you know, survive. Yeah. He's on cooldown. Gelfer is on cooldown because it is one point, uh, one and a half second. I mean, one and a half second, one and a half minute, one thirty. <laughs> right? 90 seconds. Get the word over here. There is Shako. He's on cooldown for some time. Imagine, like, this is my first game for within like two days. I'm quite exhausted as well while I'm talking to you, too. So, those mistakes could have been 100% avoided. Yeah. How many is like if you're like grinding like how many how many games will you like play a day like do you like depends. just have like a hard cap it really depends it depends on how you're feeling in case you're exhausted maybe you got the lot in a game maybe some other stuff you know are influencing you so it really depends maybe you can be taking some some breaks for example i have the yeah. pressure of when i stream i cannot really take breaks because otherwise people will live yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, you, for yeah. example, and what I was doing as well is I was taking like a 5 10 minute break. I was going for a walk or some shit like that, right around the house. Trinidad is moving. They go looking for the for the Drake, which I don't really care that much about. My teammates are, are fairly strong, especially jungle and, and uh, ADC. Yeah, I mean, you get two towers here if he goes to fight there. Trinidad is mid lane. Like, they simply need to keep their distance. If they, can, if they go for Drake, right, they need to be careful and that's it. What I do here is the correct option. Now, now as I use low HP, they just give it up, and that's fine. This is second Drake. It's not anything, bi uh, anything big. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah. This guy's fairly strong. He's, I think he's on cooldown. 
the leaves on Colin, but now I have to be careful. He's quite fed. He's VO with uh, one and a half items. The thing is, I can kill him, but he can kill me as well. It's like a 50 50 who plays it better. Yeah. Like what they're doing right now is not really smart. They, they, they might throw the whole game like this for one trade. Okay, yeah, they're just coin flipping. It nicely. I think it's like possible for them to win it. But it's risky. The chances are just not that much to their side. They have to overcompensate. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like even though they ping me, I don't give a fuck. Because yeah. if I go there, it's nothing secure. Just quickly like that. Because I know if I stay top lane, right? And nobody comes for me. Oh, hello. You can go off vision for a tiny bit. Oi, 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 hello. Had to be patient with my <laughs> ultimate over there. <laughs> Not because I had no vision. I know about two guys, but I don't know about the rest. I have to be patient yeah. with my abilities. I have to see what's happening, and then I can decide do I go for this or do I not go for this. And it's all about fundamentals. You know, you're chopping, only the enemy chopping as well, and that's it. See, I'm two levels up on this guy and 40 CS, and probably like 3k gold ahead. He has not touched my tower like once this entire game. And once again, this is based on fundamentals. Now Baron is up, yeah. I wanna be bot lane, I'm quite fed, this guy can deal with me, I'm two and a half items, like good luck. You're fucked if you try to fuck with me. On a yeah. by the sea, I found the like the guy that can send for me is actually only Zed. Like the guy can actually, he has some realistic chances of killing me. Hold on, I got a phone call, I'm gonna meet myself, one no second. No problem, no problem. His ultimate should go down, I think. 70 HP. Alright, he's full on HP. So I'm gonna be going towards back to bot lane, and I can make a rotation towards mid right now and get the numbers advantage. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. There is a model as well. Come on, come on, come on. This is free. Hello. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Nice. It's good macro. Good macro. That's all it is. So why did you end up rotating there? Because I had gotten uh, trained on low HP. I, pr I pushed mm -hmm. the wave on bot lane and I knew the trainer was most likely going to go. In that case, it wasn't Trinda who went over, over at bot lane, but it was Zed. Perfect, just kite. Check us in there. Right, because I know what most likely they're going to do, and it was exactly that. I didn't, I just didn't expect Zed to go there. I was expecting Trina to go there, right? Because yeah. I got him low on HP. There was pressure on bot lane because I was pushing as well. I pushed the wave, so if nobody goes, right, they lose the wave. And I know that because this is like somewhat like in the high-ish elo bracket. I know that people will most likely go over there, get the wave, push it, and then yeah. and then rotate. So in that meantime, I know I have time. We can get the numbers advantage. 99% of the time, just like we did, right? I made the flank. We got the kill on Janna and, and Twitch, or actually just Twitch. My teammates got a very nice pick as well, and there we go. Easy. Okay. And it's because, again, I just do what I'm supposed to do, right? I'm filling my role in the game, which is to be a yeah. top lane, not to be uh, the monkey for my for my teammates and go wherever they tell me to do, to go. Like, no. Okay, yeah. You don't, you don't play my, 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 my lane, my role. Like, why would you tell me what to do? Does it make sense? Why yeah, that makes sense. Of sense. I was talking to you so much, right? I was I was still explaining stuff. First game of the day, and take a look at the results. Right? <laughs> and, and it's all about again fundamentals. Just the core things about the game.
Yeah, that actually, was a good game, man. That was impressive to watch. Be, being one step ahead of uh, the enemy team as well. Right, I, I, I just know what most likely they're going to do, so I used my advantage, just like I did on bot lane. You were missing for a bit, so like when you left, I was on bot lane, right? I got Trino low yeah. HP, I almost killed him. My Ignite left him at 71, at 71 HP. I pushed the wave and then I, I then made the rotation, right? So, but would you like